Well, people headed to Las Vegas to escape the cold weather. <laughs> Woke up to this. Yeah, it's snow. They sure did. This video was shared with us just today. Snow is unusual in Las Vegas, but according to the Visitors Bureau, the valley does get a dusting every couple of years. And in the mountains surrounding the city, snow is actually pretty common during the winter months. Ah, uh, we could deal with the dusting like that with no problem at all. Out there, though, everything like yeah. stops. They go and clear the shelves, buy bread, water. Yeah, they, they panic. They panic. <laughs> oh, well, I would too if I only saw a dusting every once in a while. <laughs> what is this stuff? You know, guys, that same system over Vegas right now is what's going to bring us our snow here oh, on no, Friday. Okay. Yeah, it's going to affect a lot of people once again here in West Michigan. It will be an impactful day on Friday. Let's take a look ahead at your Thursday before that. 13 weather ball is blue, cooler weather in view. Instead of 40s and 50s, we'll be in the 30s and 40s. This view sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. The concern is tonight where skies did clear on out with all the water and the melting snow and dropping winds, there could be quite a bit of dense fog in the morning. So be aware of that. I think we'll be overcast throughout the day and with the clouds, we're only going to reach 40 plus here in Grand Rapids may stop at 39. There's that storm system right over Vegas. It's going to take a track down into Texas overnight and then to the south and east over Toledo by Friday night. That's going to put us in the prime spot for some significant snow. Well, right now, most of the winter alerts are out in the Four Corners area. Nothing yet, but I assume that these watches will expand to the north and east throughout the day tomorrow. Let's walk you through it. A little bit of light precipitation north of US 10 will not affect West Michigan. Here comes the next weather system. Not a lot going on through Thursday night. Here's the rain associated with that. As the storm strengthens, the rain will move up to about Indianapolis during the morning on Friday. So nothing going on Friday morning. By about noon or 1 o'clock, the snow will have stretched all the way from Indiana up to I-96. And then it's going to snow like crazy through the afternoon into the evening hours. It will be just an awful mess for the Friday night commute. Clearing skies, some sunshine early and late in the day on, on Saturday, and then more sunshine and dry weather on Sunday. So we'll have a couple of days to recover from the snow. Models have been showing snow more south and east and north and west. It just depends on the model run, but they're narrowing in on lower Michigan. We'll refine that track as we get a little bit closer, but right now between about 1 and 7 p.m. on Friday, there could be eight inches just during that six hour period, and that'll continue into the early evening hours. For that 12 hour period, we could see a foot of snow, and I think that would be pretty tough to get through during the day on Friday. Long range outlook, much of the country getting into some colder air from the 7th through the 11th of the month. At least we have a higher chance for less precipitation during that five day period. Tonight, fog from Grand Rapids southward and Muskegon southward. That's likely overnight lows right around or a little bit below freezing. Below freezing up north, you may escape the fog here, but mostly cloudy skies. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, this is the highest probability for some fog overnight as temperatures slip a little bit below freezing. So watch out for some black ice. 13 on your side forecast. We've highlighted Friday with that high impact day, especially in the late morning through overnight hours. 41 on Saturday, despite the snow on the ground, a wintry mix late Sunday night into next Monday. Cooler and drier Tuesday and Wednesday. There's a small chance for a wintry mix next Thursday and then another dry start to the following weekend. Ah, good to see snow melting temperatures and some sunshine in many areas from Grand Rapids South today. Well, we're going to change that overnight as a little bit of fog might develop. 13 weather ball is also blue. Not quite as mild weather in view in this view sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. This evening, though, great for uh, Peanut. We're reprising your role there, Peanut, because we liked you so much. Jason, Aaron, no issues uh, taking Peanut out, out for a walk and tonight. It'll give you the green paw this evening and tomorrow morning as temperatures fall from the 40s down into the mid 30s. Well, more cloud cover tomorrow than we saw today, so not quite as much green energy being created from the sun nor the wind. Wind's going to be light and variable here next 24 hours. That will help lead to perhaps some fog in some areas. Storm track, I'm going to back it up here. Uh, the storm track is uh, showing the storm system down over Las Vegas right now, and that's headed up south of Grand Rapids over the next two days. Will be nothing going on tonight or tomorrow into tomorrow night. You can see the clouds may fill in here overnight. And 
and during the day tomorrow, it'll be more clouds than sunshine across the region with colder temperatures. Nothing going on Thursday night as well. Here's the leading edge of the rain at 7 o'clock on Friday morning. Unfortunately, it will be snow by the time it gets up to Grand Rapids. This is 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Friday and between about 8 or 9 in the morning from Kalamazoo all the way up to US 10 in Traverse City. It is going to snow like gangbusters during that 6, 8 hour period into the evening. And just as quickly as it comes in, it will race out of here after midnight. We'll start the day on Saturday with some sunshine. Recovery day on Saturday, you're going to need it because there's a lot of snow that'll be coming. Both Saturday and Sunday, though, will be dry with both days at least some sunshine. Track of the storm, still a little bit under question, but somewhere in lower Michigan, especially here in southern lower Michigan, we could see a ton of snow. This eight inches of snow will happen in about a six hour period between one and seven o'clock, and there'll be another four inches on top of that a uh, Friday evening. So it is going to be a very tough end to the week into very early Saturday morning. Looking farther ahead, all of the country with the exception, I think all of the country with exception of Northeast Maine, it's going to have colder than average temperatures from the 9th through the 15th. So middle of the month, going to act more like winter than anything else. Storm track is going to be down to the west and south of us. So I think we have equal chances of seeing more or less precipitation. If it does happen, it'll be in the form of snow. Uh, from Muskegon southward, I think there's a good possibility some fog will develop, mostly cloudy skies north, temperatures falling to and a little bit below freezing. So watch out for some black ice as those uh, unmelted areas are going to be a little bit slick, upper 20s to near 30 north. I think you'll have a less of a chance of fog here. Higher chance here in the greater Grand Rapids area southward as temperatures fall a little bit below freezing. 13 on your side forecast. High impact day on a Friday, especially afternoon into the overnight hours. Dry on Saturday as the sun comes out for a while and more sunshine and dry weather on Sunday. Both days 41. Wintry mix Sunday night into Monday now. Next week virtually dry, although I think there's a slight uh, chance for a little wintry mix on Thursday. So we're all bracing for another winter storm on Friday. We knew we were probably going to get paid back here and now it's March and we are. Oh, of course. <laughs> Thank you, George. Well, after a little light wintry mix this morning, skies cleared as predicted, especially from Grand Rapids South. It was certainly nice to see snow melting temperatures and sunshine. Well, Thursday, not quite as sunny. It will also be cooler, and that's why the 13 weather ball is blue. Cooler weather in view, and this view sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Temperatures north, low 40s here in Grand Rapids, 47, 57 in Kalamazoo, nearly 10 degrees above our average high of 38. Okay, within one degree of our forecast high. Uh, we've done that now uh, four days in a row. This evening, there is Jupiter and Venus right around 7 o'clock this evening on the western horizon. Now that skies have clear, this is as close as they get. Rather rare sight. They'll start to creep farther apart here over the next several uh, days. Storm track coming from Las Vegas down to the south and two hours south on Friday. That puts us in a prime spot for a lot of snow. Tonight, we actually may see a lot of fog from Grand Rapids South where skies have cleared. And as a result, mainly cloudy skies here tomorrow. Quiet night tomorrow night despite mostly cloudy skies. It'll be on Friday in the afternoon when we see the snow arrive. This is 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It spreads all the way to US 10 by 7 o'clock. Over toward Lansing could be a wintry mix and then it quickly moves on out, clearing skies starting the day and ending the day with some sunshine on Saturday. Sunday, same. We'll start with the day with some sunshine and with a few clouds. In terms of snowfall, models are still narrowing in on where the heaviest snow will fall, but this is the European model. It's showing perhaps up to a foot of snow, and most of that will come between about noon and midnight during the day on Friday. Forecast for tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies, mid and upper 30s to near 40, 42 there in Holland. Up north, you'll be in the mid to upper 30s, so cooler than today, and a lot cooler here in the greater Grand Rapids area southward. Highs right around 40, plus or minus a degree or so. 13 on your side forecast. We're going to highlight that Friday with very windy conditions and the snow will hit 41 on Saturday as skies become sunny in the morning and then mostly cloudy later on. Dry also on Sunday. We'll see a little bit of a wintry mix Sunday night and on Monday. Cooling off next week. Next week virtually dry, but we may see another wintry mix the following Thursday, but that will be a very limited wintry mix. So yeah, we're still into March, but still winter weather. <laughs> wow. George, thanks.